art can change our future. Travel with me, artist John Dyer and artist Joanne Short. Be inspired by endangered environments, plants and animals, and learn about tribal culture. Paint, connect, exhibit and change. It's a last chance to paint. Uh, we are in the Ipita. Then on the left hand side is the southern hemisphere. There, that side. We have Mount Kenya there, you can see. Although maybe not clear. On the other side, this is the northern hemisphere, or the northern pole. So once you move towards the northern pole, uh, then you have a bowl of water. You try to drain it, it goes anti-crockwise. On the southern hemisphere, maybe you go, you walk about uh, six meters towards the southern hemisphere. You try to pour water on the bowl, so the water will go crockwise. the hippos in the pool but look if you follow this along you can see where they go up the bank where they go to feed where that path is that's a hippo path today we're at the conservancy old pegeta and i specifically wanted to come here uh, to see this this is the memorial for sudan sudan died in 2018 and his species is now functionally extinct Later today we're going to go and paint the very last two female northern white rhinos and I want all of you to paint and learn from this so we don't lose any more animals like this. The northern white rhino is functionally extinct. So we're in the northern white rhino enclosure. You'll actually see there are only two northern white rhino but you'll see a third rhino maybe in some of the shots. That is a southern white rhino who's here to keep them company. So I'm just going to stand still. We don't want to scare them. And I'm just going to move gently this way. We've got a keeper with us who's telling us exactly what to do. They're just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful animals. These are the last two, last two on planet Earth. It's not often that you can get an entire species, as we've got here, in one video shot. If you're watching this at your school, this is the entire species of northern white rhino. These two, they're both female. And we must never get here with megafauna again, or any animal or bird, or even insect. Every time we lose a species, it's affecting us all. These rhinos are on the edge of extinction. In your lifetimes, we will lose them. But there is hope with the science that they can maybe, maybe bring this species back using the southern white rhino. But I want you all to know while you're doing your paintings of these beautiful northern white rhinos and you're connecting to them, that you're painting history. You're painting the last of their kind. It's a very profound moment. My favorite year between Nanjin and Fatu is Nanjin because she's a bit cool so cool, so calm, and um, she don't have any problem with other, with the, even human being. But far too sometimes she's harsh, she's aggressive sometimes because she has been taught a lot of behaviors in natural habitants that the normal rhino do. By the southern white rhino, where she's more friendly with the southern, and sometimes she can even bully mama mother as well as um, also the southern they used to 
join together and try to bully mama. And uh, that's why sometimes we would trim their horns and uh, we left mama's horn so that she can also defend herself. So nowadays, she bullied them. So we've got northern white rhino and we've got a southern white rhino, which is over there. We can just see the back of the southern white rhino. We swing the camera around. And then we swing back, we swing back to me to the northern white rhinos. What's the difference? The difference is that uh, we look, look the whole, their, their ears, the northern ears, they have, they are so much hairy, long hair on the ears, flambe, and the southern is none. Look the skin, the skin for the northern white rhinos are much rougher, they are rough, but as compared to the southern, it's smoother. Also the back, the shape of the back of the northern white rhinos is almost flat, pumpy, but for the southern, this this is blue. Between them, we differ. Um, I, I can see all of I can see all of those features actually looking at it, especially especially the back. That's a real giveaway between the southern and the, and the northern white rhino. Do you think Do you think it is possible for me to paint with them? Do you think that's going to be safe? Do you, is that okay? Yes, no problem. Okay, so so if I set up my easel on the ground here, I can paint, and that would be okay. Problem. We are guiding you. You are safe enough. Okay, I'm going to do that, get my paints out and see if we can do this. I think it's going to be a huge challenge. This is probably the biggest painting challenge I've ever had. So I've limited my palette. I've got a purple, a cobalt blue and an orange. And I'm just attempting to basically sketch out these two beautiful northern white rhino. Um, and I'm going to have, obviously have to finish this back at base in the studio or in the guest house this evening. But I wanted you just to see the process of this is how passionate I am about the fact we're going to lose this species. I'm prepared to try and do a painting to show you, all of you around the world, that I love these animals and you should too. And you should feel something very profound of the fact that you have the privilege of witnessing these two beautiful animals while they're still on planet Earth. But let's all promise each other this isn't going to happen again to any more of the mega, the megafauna or anything in our lives. So big up biodiversity, plant trees, let wildlife into your lives and let's have a better planet. This is a lesson for all of us. So I'm basically um, moving around the field with this northern white rhino. I'm, it's a very difficult, it's blowing a gale. I'm just trying to get in the big bold shapes of the rhino. I suggest you do this too when you do yours. Get block in the shapes and then you can work into the background and you can keep amending the shape and form of this wonderful animal. I'm getting lots of it wrong and then amending it. So it's a really good process. So hope you're gonna do great on your paintings. So the rhinos have um, decided to rest after they're grazing and they, they're just beautiful. Um, the one in front of me just gets a beautiful kind of like oh, sigh and huffed a load of dust up. Just, just stunning. I'm trying to work into my painting now to develop some form. They're quite flat still uh, on my painting. Um, I have to say this is probably the hardest painting I've done. I've got Najin in front of me. And uh, you see behind me, there's quite a crew um, keeping me safe and keeping an eye on me with expert, expert knowledge. Judy, thank you so much for allowing me to paint at Old Pegeta today. I can't thank you enough. And for all the children around the world who are experiencing this, uh, this with us, we want to thank you collectively. Why are they important? Why are we here? Okay, um, it's a pleasure to have you join and your team here. We are happy to tell the story of the northern white rhinos. Um, as a conservancy, uh, we are the largest uh, conservancy um, and we deal with uh, rhino, rhinos. Uh, you can find the black rhino species here. 
the southern white rhino species. And for now we also have the last two northern white rhino species. Um, the, the reason we have the last two northern white rhinos is due to um, extinction. Um, we started off, um, there, were, there was a good po population of the northern white rhinos um, early in the 90s, but due to civil war around in Africa, due to poaching, the numbers have drastically gone down. So in fact, um, Olpegeta received uh, first, the first four rhinos, two male, two male rhinos, <laughs> and two female rhinos, but we are left with the last two northern white rhinos. The two male rhinos unfortunately passed due to natural causes. John, why is the northern white rhino uh, important to you? It symbolises, well obviously, a potential extinction event. They're functionally extinct. We need all of these species. The rhino, the elephant, those are landscape builders. And without them, you, you end up without the watering holes. You end up not spreading the, the seeds of, of the trees, the acacias around in this landscape. If you don't have that, then we lose the bees because acacias flower, there's also pollen. If we don't have the bees, we don't have the crops, and you can quickly see how the whole environment starts to slowly collapse. So every species has its place, and these big keystone species like an elephant or a rhino are vitally important for all of us, for the health of the planet, and in fact, at the end of the day, for ourselves. We target Last Chance to Paint um, deliberately at children because those young minds are the ones to capture so that the children, and I'm talking directly to you children if you watch this video, you can be the change. So you can protest and you can learn about climate change and extinction events like the one we're witnessing here, but you need to be the change as well. Make little differences in your life to be the change so we don't meet this fate again with other species and we protect our planet.